Okay, so this is Alex. He is a 78-year-old guy here in Marquette that had a car accident back in November 2010. And he was a quadriplegic at that point. He was unable to walk and was referred to us and evaluated with us in July of 2012. When he came in then, he was able to walk with left strand crutches, so he had already made some serious strides but um, with the combination of the pool and land and occupational therapy as well as physical therapy, um, he's gotten where he is today. So I think the most important thing is to increase his endurance and strength when he's walking. And so one goal that we're always working towards is to be able to walk on a treadmill longer. And so because he can do a longer period of time in the water on that treadmill, he can also increase his amount of time that he's on the treadmill on land as well. So overall, increasing his functional mobility. So with this exercise, this is helping, um, obviously, just sidestepping and strengthening those adductor, abductor muscles um, in his hips. And the nice thing about this, too, is that he doesn't require um, any assist to stand up because of the, the effect the water has on him. He does really well with these, and we've noticed that one side is definitely weaker than the other, but in the past couple months, I feel like it's definitely gotten stronger. It is. Hmm? It is. Yeah. It's getting there. This exercise especially is really beneficial for neuromuscular re-education for him. Um, just set, like focusing on just the one leg can really help with his coordination as well as his strength. So that's why this one's a really good one too. This one is really good for his core strength and also his coordination, which ties into that neuromuscular re-education that I was talking about earlier. Because he's in the water and he's able to be more stable in this kind of position, not only using the railing, but also the side of the pool there to keep his feet in place, um, he's able to get a good stretch on his back. We do all sorts of different things for his back pain, and this is one thing that helps kind of loosen him up. Sometimes when he gets exercising, things tighten up on him, whether it's his legs or his back or the combo of both. So this is something that we do quite a bit, too. This one's really good for Alex, especially because he has no weight bearing through his joints right now. So there's no force of gravity necessarily um, the way it normally would be through his body. So. This allows him to also move much more freely, like I was saying before, and um, strengthen at the same time, so it's good. Like he always makes me smile when I say, so how are you doing? How's everything going? He'll say, well, nowhere to go but up. Good job, that's perfect. The strides that he's made increasing his endurance with the treadmill, getting around the house and getting up from a seated or on the floor position has slowly gotten better every week that we see him.